Hello YouTube, this is Lisa. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. I'm doing great. If you're a first time visitor to my channel, I appreciate you stopping by. And if you're a return visitor, I am so glad you came back to see me again today. Today is uh, Saturday, um, June 24th, I think. So, I am out in the garden. We've been to the farmer's market this morning and um, just looking around. They don't really have anything that we don't already grow that we would want. So, but it was just nice to be out and see off the farmers and meeting them and uh, see what they got. But um, I'm out in the garden and I am going to pick my white onions. They are ready. My purple hull peas. They probably would be glad for them to stay, but I am going to go ahead and uh, harvest my white onions. So I'm going to turn you around and let you see how they look. Some of them are still standing up, but uh, some have died back. And um, I'm just going to go ahead and harvest them all. So I'll be right back. So, as you can see, I got four rows of onions down through there, so I'm going to go ahead and harvest them. I'm going to push, I'm just going to lay them out here. Some of these I probably could let them stay. Now he needs to come out because he's laying over and he's died back. But this one little lady at the farmer's market, she has some huge white onions. But for me, it's not about the size of them. I mean, I could, I'd be glad to get nice size onions. For me, it's the taste. I don't ever want to grow an onion and it tastes like that I bought from Walmart that early spring. Okay, so I'm having all kind of technical difficulties over here. Phone is getting hot. It's not dead, it's just hot. But um, these are the white onions. I went and got my little wagon out and laid them out on that. Let the little back door down so they can hang off the back. 
Now this may not be the best way to let them dry out for a couple weeks, but when you're limited on space, that's what you do. So these are the white onions that I just harvested. Texas Early White onions. And um, I harvested those from the garden, uh, the big garden out there. So over here, I have already harvested my red onions from this bed. Uh, this is the um, southern bell, red southern bell uh, onions that I got from Dixondale, Dixondale Farms as well. These are the same thing, southern bell from Dixondale, and these were Texas legend that I had left from her, uh, planting them out in the big garden. And so that's my red onion harvest. And these here. Now the, all the other onions that you'll see through the garden planted with my brassicas, uh, those are uh, Georgia sweet onions. And um, some of those need a little more time, but they are, some of them have got a nice size too like this one it's pretty nice but I'll probably let it stay so I'm gonna go over here and take a look at my broccoli and uh, probably harvest some of it and so I'll be right back so my broccoli looks good I'm gonna go ahead and harvest it and I'll take the camera out here now it's been shutting off because it's hot so and um, but I'm gonna take the camera out here and let you see I got about three or four heads uh, that I'm gonna go ahead and harvest so it's gonna go fast and I may not say a word but hopefully the camera will stay on long enough for me to um, harvest them or on camera so I'll be right back. So that's a head right there. I'm going to try and get that one. And then that's a head right there. I'm going to try to get that one. And then it's one back under this cover. I'm going to try to get that one too. And then I will see what else is left. So. Look at that broccoli. It is really, really nice. I'm excited about this. That one is nice. That's a nice one. So it's other little heads that are around in here, like that one, and then that one. I probably could get that one. Oh, just leave that one. And then it's a little head down in there. This one is still forming down in there. That's why I took that one. This one that's over there. But uh, it's a little bitty one right there. It's still a lot of broccoli. So that's one. And that is one. But um, I may give these some fish emotion or maybe some of the comfort tea. Because there are some yellowing leaves and things in here. I 
pulled a bunch out the other day, but that's it. This is my broccoli harvest. I'll be right back. So today's harvest is these white onions, those Southern Bell red onions, and just about three or four, four or five of those Texas legend onion, more Southern Bell onions. I went over to the burn pile, got these huge cucumbers out of it. That's no good. It probably would taste good to somebody, but it's basically just good for seeds. And then I got these two out of that too. My broccoli. Three heads of broccoli. These are the Imperial broccoli. And it is several more out there that are still growing. And we'll harvest those in the days ahead. This is a Paul Roberson tomato. These are Super Sweet 100. This is, this was onion was growing in with my, and it is a uh, Georgia Sweet Onion. These are Straight 8, and these are Beet Alpha Cucumbers. And then a couple of uh, Honeycomb. It was more than that, but I ate some of them. <laughs> so that's all that I'm going to do today. I'm going to water some and then I'll see what's next. It's always something to do. If you like my content, please give me a thumbs up. And if you uh, like, please share with someone. You all stay safe, stay well, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.